what we do is we want to create interactive experience between humans and animals. I think the key is if people can literally touch these animals, they can feel the texture, they can feel the temperature, the heartbeat, the movement, and then the people will have a closer feelings towards these animals. Tommy Kingston's mobile zoo is popular among children, parents, and school teachers in Hong Kong. But it was not his idea to come up with one. It was an opportunity that came his way when he was just starting out as a wildlife educator. A school invited Tony to talk about wildlife to students. And this instantly became the spark of an advocacy for the zoologist who later founded Jurassic Garage in 1997. He just wanted me to do a little bit of sharing with a PowerPoint, like a typical presentation. And then I said, hmm, I will be talking about animals. What about I bring you some real live animals so the students can have a better idea what I will be talking about. And then I brought some reptiles and small mammals and birds and all the students were so happy. Jurassic Garage has over 8,000 animals, mostly small animals like lizards, on a farm in New Territory. Tony tries his best to let the animal retain their natural behavior so that when he uses them to educate people, people can understand the wild animal's natural traits rather than treat them as pets. Also, safety is very important for a mobile zoo especially when most of the audience is kids. The animals in here, in Jurassic Garage, were captive bred. They had never been in the wild. They look exactly the same, and their behaviors are actually pretty similar to the ones in the wild, so that people can uh, learn from these animals, and yet can interact with them safely. When I put it down a little. Before Jurassic Garage started, I had already been studying animals in the wild, in the jungle, in Africa, in South America, in Australia. And I found a lot of animals, very nice. And then I also discovered some very uncommon animals. I was so excited every time I discover something new, but at the same time, it's a bittersweet feeling because some of the animals were so rare. Some animals even have gone extinct soon after that. That is so sad. Then I was thinking, if I want to save animals, I, I have to let more people feel the need of saving them. That's how I started Jurassic Garage. I believe you have to have a close feelings towards these animals to make you feel the need to save them. Because something really far from you, you don't really want to save them. You want to save something really close to you. This is exactly why we are doing this. Because I believe animal conservation has to be done by everyone in the world, not just by scientists, not just by conservationists but by every single person. I started it more than 25 years ago, and then the first group of kids now have become parents. And then they are already having their own kids, and then they all love animals. And they are all trying to save animals. I'm so satisfied seeing the cycle going. Bye, everyone.